in the previous episode of Living Free. The good people at Morris sent me out a dryer that can actually fit in my RV. Woo! <laughs> I have something for you. I'm going to develop a blank piece of land. Just making a bunch of little triangles. Because I'm going to fold it in half and it's going to be... As soon as I'm on camera, <laughs> yeah. so 14 inches ish. Not a professional, I'm a habitual loser. Not a professional, I'm a habitual douchebag. Not a professional, I'm a habitual jerk off. Not a professional, I'm a habitual rule breaker. Not law breaker, but rule breaker. <laughs> We're gonna go to another hot tub. We've got our boxers in our pockets. And we're gonna go sneak into another hot tub. Or what, we still got Anonymously invited. I would recommend if you're going to do something like this to get a professional wood stove installer, which I am not. I'm just a jack of all trades, master of none that's been living off grid for a, quite a long time. What did you say? I would recommend if you're going to do something like this to get a professional wood stove installer, which I am not. I'm just a jack of all trades, master of none that's been living off grid for a, quite a long time. Did that 10 years in the cabin and then about nine years in the RV. What in heaven's name are you talking about? The biggest issue that I could see right now happening is a whole bunch of smoke. I woke up to go give me a cold pop. And then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> then I ran out. I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Chances are pretty good this is going to work. Woo! I said, oh, Lord Jesus, it's a fire. Smoke coming in is sort of an issue, but... Ain't nobody got time for that. What I'm worried about. I've got smoke coming in right there. <laughs> 